Hey everyone, my name is Whitney and this is my YouTube channel, Whit Makes, and I'm here today with a little bit of a chatty video. I used to do these, I'm gonna bring them back about once a month. We will do a currently list. So I will share, you'll see, I got a whole, I got a list. What I'm watching, reading, listening to, making, planning, just some fun stuff that I love to share and talk about and I love to hear what other people are doing and they just don't really fit in with some of my other videos. So I thought having them once a month was a great way to capture them. And then if you like chatty videos, you know when you see it, what it is. And if you don't like chatty videos, you can just skip. You can just be like, eh, I'll catch her. I'll catch the next video. So I do have my computer out and I have a blog post that I will link below with links to hopefully everything. If I forget anything, ask me in the comments, either on the blog or here on the channel, and I will get it for you. But this is just like what I'm up to for May of 2023. So let's get started with what I'm watching. And I have to be honest, Chris and I have been going to bed so early. We are done by the end of the day. <laughs> I have been going to bed. Sometimes I fall asleep before my big kids. <laughs> I've been going to bed so early. So I have not been watching a ton. We were watching a lot of basketball, very into the NBA playoffs. So we watched a lot of basketball. We did start the final season of Succession. I love that show, but I'm way behind. So I have not been able to keep up with like the chatter about it. I'll have to come back to it, but I do. I love Succession and that's kind of our main show right now. I have a whole list of things that I want to watch, but Someday we will stay up later. But right now we're sleeping more than watching TV. I did start J Daisy Jones and the Six uh, when we were traveling a bunch in April. And I'm really liking it. I read that book. I liked the book okay. It was, it was fine. It was fun. It was good. I think they did a really good job with the show, with the mini series, I guess is what it is, of translating the book into a movie. I think it has the same vibe. I think they fleshed out some of the characters, some of the side characters a little bit more that I like, but the fashion is so good. I love all the clothes. I love it so much. They did a fantastic job with that. So I think I have three, two or three more episodes of that, which I just haven't had time to sit and put on, but I do want to finish that because I did, I really am liking it. For reading, I have been reading quite a bit. I'll start with these things though, because <laughs> if I go too far back, this will be too long of a video. I finished just last week, A Marriage Portrait by Maggie O'Farrell, which I think I talked about in last week's vlog, which I don't think I liked. It's beautifully written. It has this tension in it that is masterful. You know at the very beginning what's gonna happen. And so you're just kind of like waiting to see if that happens or how, and it's very tense. It's very sad, but it is beautiful. It's a bit gothic in that it has like a real atmosphere, but I did not like it. I, I, I don't know. So I would be interested. Someone else said that they felt the same way, but that everyone in their book club really loved it. <laughs> so I would love to hear if you've read that and if you liked it or not. But I'm glad I read it because like I said, it was, it was a beautiful book. Um, she is a fantastic writer, but when I had to sit there and be like, did I enjoy reading this? The answer was no, I really didn't. Um, so that was my first one. Right now, I started Romantic Comedy by Curtis Sittenfeld, which I'm almost finished with. I'm enjoying this. I'm not a big romantic, romantic comedy, romance chicklet. I hate that term, but you know what I mean. I don't read a lot of those books, but when I read a really good one, I really, really love them. I think sometimes... I need a more complex main character. So I recently read Nora Goes Off Script, which actually is similar to this in that it's like a regular woman and like a celebrity man. But the thing I like about it is that she is in her 30s, maybe even her 40s, had two kids. Just feels like a real, like a, a real person who yes, has flaws, but I don't like when the main, when the character is a woman and she's so scatterbrained or lost 
and they actually talk about this in romantic comedy, like that trope of such a mess. Um, I like when it's like a normal, messy woman, <laughs> but who like can get by on her own kind of thing or has, or has a life and just so happens to fall in love. That's what I like. And that's what romantic comedy is. The main character is 38 years old. She is a writer at a show that is basically Saturday Night Live, but it's called something else. She's smart. She is a bit of a mess, but she loves what she does. She knows who she is. And she just happens to fall in love with a famous person. So it's kind of like their story. And what's interesting is the first part uh, is your typical first person narrative. The second part is correspondence. And then we've gone back. And I think the third part is now back to just a narrative. So <clears throat> it's kind of interesting how it's broken up. And it's also interesting because it takes place in present day. So they go through the pandemic, which I haven't read. Have I read any books that go through the pandemic? I can't think that I have. Maybe I have. I don't think I have. I've read some poetry. I don't know that I've read a fiction work where the characters actually go through the pandemic. And it's very interesting. And I think it's really well done. And I think it really captures what it was like when everything shut down in 2020. So I'm enjoying that. I don't know this will be my like most favorite book, but it's definitely it's a nice lighter one after Marriage Portrait. And I am enjoying it. I'm also listening to the Inheritance of Orquidia Divina by Zoreda. Cordova. <laughs> I'm listening to that and it's really good. It's very magical realism, which I love. Um, family saga, which I love. And I'm enjoying listening to that one. And when I finish it, I'll let you know <laughs> if it's worth picking up or not. Um, I did want to share that I started an Instagram account where I an Instagram account where I'm just sharing books and reviews and it's wit reads and reads. Wit underscore reads underscore and underscore reads I think I linked it in my blog post I'm still using goodreads but I'm kind of just like keeping track of books I got tired of writing reviews there and like the star system was bugging me because for example with the marriage portrait um like writing wise I would give it four stars but enjoyment wise I would give it like two and a half but I didn't feel like it was fair to give it two and a half. You know what I mean? So I like more just talking about it rather on Instagram or here, but that book Instagram is only books. I don't put anything else. I just put what I've read and my little thoughts on it. Um, and it's kind of, it's as much for me as to share with anyone else. Okay. Besides my audiobook, Chris and I have recently purchased tickets to see Manchester Orchestra at Red Rocks this summer and their new album I've been listening to nonstop. It's perfect. It's been really gloomy, rainy weather here and it's perfect. It's a perfect rainy day album. So really beautiful songs. I can't wait to hear them at Red Rocks because it's going to be like Red Rocks. Everyone sounds good at Red Rocks, but music that is very like all encompassing, very full. I don't know the right word I want to say. Um, just can fill that space so well. And like any music with lots of layers, maybe, uh, is really fun to listen to at Red Rock. So I've been enjoying that album and I really can't wait to see them live. Okay, for making, I'm trying to finish up my spring capsule plans. I have my NYX dress and then I think I'm going to be done. I don't think I'm going to get to my Protea pants um, this season. I think I might save those for fall or maybe work on them later this summer. I don't know. But I think with the next dress, I'm going to call it. I've been loving my spring capsule. I've been wearing all my clothes, but I don't know that I need, you know, I've made it this far without these pants. I have plenty of pants to wear. So I think I might save them. I do love that fabric, but I don't have time right now for a pair of pants. So I'm going to save those. And I shared all my knitting last week with my whip. So I'm still working on all of those, enjoying all of that. And feeling I am ready for summer. We have nine more school days left. 
and then it's summer and while like my life kind of stays the same and on the one hand gets a little bit busier because the kids are with me just the pace you know the after school stuff the running around town um all of that slows down i'm really looking forward to it we don't have a lot of plans this summer we want to enjoy our newly renovated house hopefully our deck gets built here in the next couple of weeks and we can be outside a lot I want to do farmer's market. I want to explore Denver. We didn't really, you know, we moved here in 2020 and we've done a few things in Denver. Like we went to the zoo when it opened because it was outside. We've been to the museum before, but there's so much in Denver, like in the city we haven't done, as well as fun museums and trails and stuff around it that either Sam was too little or they weren't open during the during COVID. So I'm really excited to have a very chill summer we're traveling a little bit, but not a lot. So really looking forward to that. I've already decided every day we're gonna put Sam down for a nap and we're all gonna read for at least 30 minutes. For me, lots of reading, I'm gonna get the hammock out, <laughs> lots of relaxation. I think especially right now, because so much gets crammed in to the end of May <laughs> with the school year that I'm just like ready for summer mode. For planning, I have been planning a little bit um, what summer is going to look like. Kind of, we need our days to have a little bit of structure. So I'm looking for things to do and things to explore, as well as um, some fun things we can do with Sam. Um, we'll want to continue. He won't be getting school every day, so we need to do speech and some things that really um, are good for him to keep to keep growing and learning. So I've been looking at some fun stuff for that. And then finally, for loving, we have had, I love the spring weather. It has been very wet, not snow. It's been very rainy and cool, but everything is green. So even though it's cloudy out, I feel like I live in the Pacific Northwest. Everything is green and it's cool. And I actually really love it. It feels like a real spring. Sometimes it's like winter and we go right to summer in Colorado, but this this feels like an actual spring and i'm really looking forward to it i wouldn't mind um you know it warming up a little bit but i'm liking still wearing my sweatshirts and sweaters and it's quite nice i'm enjoying it so that is my currently list for may 2023 let me know what you're watching what you're reading what are you planning for we do have the twins birthday this week coming up so i am planning some stuff for that and yeah, I think that's it for me. I hope to be back on Friday with a little vlog. It will be a shorter one because this week is about to get real busy. Like I said, they cram in everything in the last <laughs> two weeks of May for all the school stuff. But after that, I'm ready for those summer vibes. So thanks for being here. Subscribe if you want to always know when I put a new video out. And I will talk to you guys next time.